I think we can agree that copyright is about control. Most people would agree with that, but most people would view that control that's involved in copyright one way, and I view it a very different way. So most people would view it as the control of your intellectual property. And there's a rightness to that, right? I created this thing. It is my intellectual property, so I should control my thing. The problem with this logic, though, is that your thing, your intellectual property, isn't trying to do anything that you wouldn't want it to do. It's not actually capable of doing anything. <laughs> it is intellectual property. It is creativity. It is an image. It is a song. It is whatever. It's not going to go out and do something bad or against the law. So that's how copyright control is viewed by a lot of people. But what I think that copyright control is actually about is about controlling the behavior of other people. I want to control what you do with my thing. And, and that's a little bit different. <laughs> trying to control other people has a different feel to it than trying to control your thing. And so thinking about copyright control in this way makes it somehow less appealing. <laughs> and all of a sudden makes it seem less possible too. Because as we all know, it's so much easier to control your own behavior than to control the behaviors of others. And so that is what I would recommend. Instead of trying to control what everyone else is going to do with your intellectual property, maybe try to control how you react to what these other people are doing. You know, uh, instead of getting really upset and feeling violated, maybe experiment with learning from how these other people have copied you um, or used your work. Maybe experiment with, you know, starting conversations about imitation. Uh, maybe think of it in those terms instead. You know, instead of uh, getting really upset with someone for having plagiarized you, so you think, uh, and writing about them on your blog and naming them and, and saying mean things about them, maybe write about them on your blog but say nice things. Try to find nice things to say. Uh, you still get the same result of someone looking for this other person's work, googling their name, and finding your blog instead. Um, but you get the added benefit of instead of it's they find your blog and you're saying very mean things, you're saying really interesting and fun and open things. You know, instead of yelling at someone for taking pictures of your art at a gallery, maybe ask them, what is it about my work? that makes you want to photograph it? You know, what, what is so compelling about it? What, what are you going to do with that photograph? Why do you feel like you need it and want it? Um, uh, start a conversation instead of starting legal procedures. How about that? Control your own behavior instead of trying to control the behavior of others. As I was working on this painting, I ended up looking at this painting. by Cezanne. And I looked at it because I was having trouble composing my orca painting. I knew I needed one for my upcoming series, Crime Against Nature, but I didn't really know what to do with it. And so I was looking at art history, as I often do, to find inspiration. I look at other artists' work and, uh, and, and find how to make mine that way. And I am so glad that an artist like Cezanne no longer has the option to try to control me and stop me from doing that, because it's only with this freedom that I was able to make this work. I'm going to show you the making of this painting. 